of <clears throat> business application. Few preliminary stuff. C of X is the cost function, where X is the number of units to be produced or sold. Okay, so X equals number of units to produce or sell. P, the price function or demand. If the price is not fixed, uh, a lot of time we call it a demand function. Why is that? Because at times the price is a, is a function of the quantity. For instance, if you look at price of oil, let's write first, at times uh, the price is a function of, of the quantity X. And that's what we call demand. Okay? If there is a, what happened to the price of oil if there is a crisis and people anticipate a reduced production of oil? The price will go up. If there is a war in Libya, which is, is or there was a war in Iraq, where it was, the prices got jacked up. If there is a, a famine in a wheat product, producing country, such as the Ukraine, which is the breadbasket of Eastern Europe, then what happened are uh, the prices of wheat and grain, corn, in Canada and U.S., which are big producing, big uh, grain producing countries, will go up because of increasing demand. If there is a med cow disease in one of the states that is producing beef, what happens is the prices of chicken, of poultry product, will go up because of increasing demand. So a lot of time, P is a function of the quantity. Now, the next item is the revenue, R of X. The revenue as a function of X is simply the price multiplied the quantity, uh, by the quantity. So it's the product, the product of price and quantity, or quantity and price. Or you can write R of X is simply X times P of X, like so. And finally, the goal of each business is the profit function. Uh, let's call it P, uppercase. We have P, lowercase, which is the price right there. Sometimes in business uh, calculus, you'll see the uppercase pi. Uh, that will be the profit function. And the profit is basically the difference between revenue and cost. So P, I'll use it as a uppercase P. P equals R minus C. And we want to maximize the profit. We're going to do it by taking, finding critical numbers so let's first write that the goal, as I said, the goal of every business is to, max, is to maximize profit, its profit. Now, why did I write something so trivial like that? Because, folks, it's not so trivial. Uh, I had some years of experience as a business owner, and then also uh, a production manager before that. At times, you get caught in increasing revenue. You want to produce more or sell more, and you need to be mindful of the fact that sometimes by producing more or selling more, you also increase the cost of the business and you may increase the cost of the, of the business to the point where you start losing profit by increasing volume. So 
Increasing revenue doesn't mean automatically that you increase the profit. It may happen, but it also may not happen. So you need, you, you need uh, to keep your eye on the board, meaning you need to stay focused on maximize the, maximizing the profit. Now, to do so, we need to find criti the critical numbers of uh, the profit function. And here's an interesting result. P prime of X being R prime minus C prime, you want it to equal zero. The outcome is R prime equals C prime. So this is an interesting result. If you want to maximize the profit, then the derivative of the revenue equals the derivative of the, fund of the cost, but this is also tells you that the marginal revenue equals the marginal uh, profit. So maximize, I'm sorry, max, uh, marginal cost, maximize, maximize profit or maximum profit when marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. That's an important contribution of calculus. Just to remind you what is the marginal cost, and you can uh, apply it also to marginal revenue. It's the cost to produce one additional unit. And we looked at it also earlier in the semester. Um, 